Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom with a quick video to help you learn how to spot fake updates and other dangerous links online. Updates are essential to keeping your computer safe and running properly. And we get reminded to do them a lot, but many people don't know which ones they should do. So one of the ways that the bad guys online try to fool you into installing their dangerous software on your computer is by disguising it as something useful, like an update. Let's take a look at a real example. The other day, I was browsing the web looking for some gardening information. I found one website with a bunch of really useful stuff, although it had some annoying pop-ups and ads on it, as you can see. So I'm trying to copy the good stuff from this site when all of a sudden, this page appears. And in my own nerdy way, I get super excited because this is a great example of the kind of thing I'm always trying to warn clients about. All these pop-up windows come up, urging me to click on them, and they look pretty authentic. So how can you tell if this is the real thing? It's quite easy once you know how. Move your mouse pointer over one of the buttons, but do not click. When you point to one of those buttons, a little pop-up window shows up right here with the URL. That's the link information. It tells you where you'll go if you click on it. Most people ignore this because it looks like a bunch of technical gibberish, but it's actually pretty simple when you know what to look for. Let's break it down. Every URL has three parts. First is the HTTP or HTTPS colon backslash backslash backslash. That just means that this link goes to a web page. Then the second part is the name of the actual website it's pointing to, something dot something. That goes up until the next slash. The third part after the single slash really looks like gibberish and you can pretty much ignore that. It just specifies where on the website it would go. So the important part is here between the double slash and the following single slash. That tells you whose website you're going to. So is this one adobe.com, the website for Adobe Flash? Hell no, so I'm not going to click on it. Just for practice, let's go take a quick peek at the real Adobe website so you can see what the correct URL would look like. A quick Google search brings up the link for Adobe's Flash site right here. Now, if I point to this download button, you can see that it's pointing to https colon backslash backslash getadobe.com slash, and then a bunch of other stuff. Once again, the key is between the first double slash and the first single slash. This is the real Adobe site. As an aside, Adobe Flash is being phased out at the end of 2020, so you probably shouldn't be using it anyway. This just happened to be a convenient example. So here's our mascot, Frumpy, with a quick recap. When you see a link online, point to it, don't click, and look at the pop-up window. Specifically, look between the first double slash and the following single slash to see what website that link is pointing to. Is that where you want to go? If you're not sure, don't click on it. Thanks for watching. You can leave comments and questions below. Click like if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more Computers.Mom videos.